Hello, I am Abby Sprickwick, and today we're going to be looking at um, some percent composition problems. So let's start with this one. It says the amino acid cysteine plays an important role in the three-dimensional structure of proteins by forming disulfide bridges. The percent composition of cysteine is 29.74% carbon, 5.82% hydrogen, 26.42% oxygen, 11.56% nitrogen, and 26.47% sulfur. What is the molecular formula of cysteine if its molar mass is approximately 121 grams per mole? All right, so the method methodology that we'll be using for these is uh, we're going to be uh, changing these percentages to mass. Um, the, we'll be changing the mass to mole, and then we'll be dividing by smaller and mul multiplying to a whole. So I'll explain what that means in a second. So first, we're going to change um, these percentages to mass. Well, before that, let's look at our significant figures just to know what we're working with. So we have 29.74, uh, which is four. This is three significant figures, four, 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 and three. So um, overall, we're gonna be using three significant figures. So first, let's start with carbon. We've got, um, we're gonna be changing this 29.74, uh, the percent just to grams. So we'll just have 29.74 grams of carbon. We'll just be doing that for all of these. So 5.82 grams of hydrogen, 26.41 grams of oxygen, 11.56 grams of nitrogen, uh, 26.47 grams of sulfur. Is that all of them? Yes. All right. So now we're going to be changing um, grams to mole. So we'll be dividing by their atomic mass. So we'll have one mole of carbon over the atomic mass of carbon, which is 12.01 grams of carbon. And then we'll just be doing that for all of these. So one mole of hydrogen over 1.008 grams of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen over 16.00 grams of oxygen and then one mole I know it's gonna play tight one mole of nitrogen over 14.01 grams of nitrogen and then one mole of sulfur over 32.06 grams of sulfur. Okay. So, oh, excuse me. Um, so, as you can see, these units cancel right here. So, the grams of carbon, grams of carbon, grams of hydrogen, grams of these, these units cancel. So, you are left with uh, a mole of a substance. So, um, including our significant figures, which is three. So, we've got, after dividing, we've got 2.5. Four eight moles of carbon, and we've got five point seven seven moles of hydrogen, one point six five moles of oxygen, and zero point eight two five moles of nitrogen, and zero point eight two six moles of sulfur. Okay, so um. With our procedures, we've already converted the percent to mass, the mass to a mole. So now we have to find the smallest mole, um, the smallest amount. So that looks to be this mole of nitrogen right here. So what we're going to do now is take 0 0.825 and divide it by each of these moles. Um, and we'll get a number that we'll use in a second. So let's go ahead and do this. So if we have... Um, we can just go ahead and do it right here. We have 0 0.825, and then we'll just go ahead and write that out for all of these, 0 0.825, 0 0.825, 0 0.825, 0 0.825. So this is going to be, after dividing, this is going to be 3.001. So that is approximately three. 
um, that approximation is important for subscripts in a second. So then this is 6.99, which is approximately 7. And this is equal to exactly 2. This is equal to exactly 1. And this is equal to 1.001, so approximately 1. Okay, so now these numbers are actually our subscript for our empirical formula, not our molecular formula, our empirical formula. So if we're going to write out our empirical formula, we would have, let's see, we have C3, H7, O2, N1, so N, and S, so S. So C3, H7, O2, N, S. This is our p empirical formula. So our um, problem asked for, asked for our molecular formula. So in order to do this, we need to find the empirical formula mass and divide that by the actual, uh, the mass that was given in the molecular formula. So we'll just find our mass by multiplying the subscripts by the atomic mass of the element. So we'll have 3 times 12.01 plus 7 times 1.008 plus 2 times 16.00 plus uh, just 14.01 plus 32.06. So all of this is going to be equal to, without significant figures, is 121.156 grams. So significant figures will be 121. So after we have this number, we will divide it by the number that is given for our molecular formula. So we'll have just 121 divided by 121, which will equal 1. So now we take this number and we multiply it by the subscript of, of our empirical formula. So it, it will be the same thing, but if this was like 2, you'd have you know C6H14O4 4, 4, and 2S2, okay? So we'll go ahead and do that just for demonstration. So C3. H seven O two N S. So our final answer, our empirical formula, will be C three H seven O two N S. So that's how you do that percent composition problem, and we'll move on to the next one.